Hey guys, Zarak here, and today I'm bringing you guys the final episode of the Inform 7 tutorial. Obviously, I've not covered absolutely everything because I don't know absolutely everything, and I said right from the start this is just from what I've learnt. So today we are going to be going over reading matter and releasing. So it's going to be the final episode, like I said, of the information that I can give. Uh, I will release both this YouTube.inform um, source code and also my source code for the beast within or what I've done with it because I haven't actually done uh, as much as I probably should have uh, I literally did it for my college project and then never touched it which was kind of not what I was going to do um, so anyway uh, moving on so we're going to go into reading matter first and I already uh, show you guys the code previously uh, but I'm going to go more in depth into it so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the documentation here and we're going to go to um, props, food, clothing, money, books and electronics and uh, we're going to go to reading matter and pages. Uh, pages is a nice example and it gives me this code. Now it is a big, big, big code. So what we'll do is we'll get into it. Now I don't know every single thing about it and why it works but there is key information that I do know and you don't really have to mess around with anything you can just copy and paste and then change a couple of words here and there to what you want so we'll start with the top here uh, the library is a room obviously you can get rid of that if you don't want a library you can get rid of that the sinister book is carried by the player obviously your next thing doesn't have to be the sinister book it could be any book i had a diary book in the beast within and it doesn't have to be carried by the player uh, it can be on a table or anything like that uh, the sinister book has a number called the last page read. You want to make sure you keep uh, that sentence uh, and obviously just change the sinister book. Uh, when you're doing this um, copy and paste, you will have to change the sinister book every single time. It's probably in there about 16, 17 times. Um, so you do have to change it, which kind of sucks. But then uh, from then on, you can just copy and paste it through. Uh, the sinister book has a number called the length. Obviously, you need to keep that. The length of the sinister book is 50. Now, you can change this to however many pages you want. So, for example, the Beast Within's diary book had a length of 28, which was the amount of days in the lunar cycle. Um, understand the command read is something new. We've already done that with the uh, understanding commands and making new actions. Understand read something, consult something, reading from something is reading. Reading is an action applying to one thing, requiring light. Uh, you can probably get rid of the requiring light if you want to, it's up to you. Uh, I've never really messed with light and darkness in Inform. Um, I think all of my scene was technically light, so it's up to you uh, whether you want to experiment around with that. Uh, understand, read from, blah 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 blah, so many different things. Again, also requiring light. Uh, name page is a kind of value. The name page is the first page, the last page, next page, and previous page. Uh, obviously, keep all of this. Literally, keep pretty much all of this. I'll tell you what you can change because uh, every every other bit of it is already done for you. Uh, decide the number of the effective value. Last page, decide the length of book. Uh, blah blah blah. You really don't need to worry about what this is. Just copy and paste it in. Um, again, another thing requiring light. Um, got to change the sentence to book there. Uh, Breeze, stop going on Counter Strike. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, check reading. Blah 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 blah. This is about um, if the second noun is not the sentence to book. So read and then whatever the second noun is. Uh, so there's no pages in the noun. Instead, abide by the book requirement rules. Breeze is again going on Counter Strike. Um, check reading. Check reading. More check reading. More check reading. More check reading carry out reading um, so most of that you can just copy obviously you got to change sentence to book in every single one of them um, then you go to this table book contents now if I actually copy and paste this in uh, it is a little bit weird and it won't actually work with the way it's copied so it copies like that now I would probably just rewrite it I wouldn't even copy and paste this bit but if you want to copy and paste it it's fine uh, you want to do it like the table we had up here so the table of book contents you want in one line and then you want page in one line and then content there and then you just want every single thing to be lined up perfectly. I don't know why it copies and pastes in a really really weird way but it does so you just want to tab it all 
make sure it is in every single right bit. So as you can see, there's gaps in here. Um, so let's undo that, and there we go, and there we go. So now they are all lined up uh, properly. So for some reason it does that, I don't know why. Um, obviously, make sure you change that and sort that out when you've copied and pasted. Uh, again, nothing really needs to change here, and you don't need to copy this, so don't copy it. That's just for testing uh, the game. If you want to use the test command, go do so, but I've never used the test command uh entirely um and actually you don't even really need to uh copy this one you can get rid of this one um i don't even know if i've got rid of it on mine that, that's pretty bad um this is just saying if you want to uh read a specific page but you want like a side effect to happen so obviously with this it's using a sinister book so it's all demonic so it's going to be you know that type of era but for example if you wanted page 37 to be read and as the person reads it they suddenly feel guilt and stuff you can say that as well on addition to the page number so there you go um so yeah that's that's really all there is to reading matter um i have never used anything else for it uh but this code like i said you just got to go through change since the book probably don't need this um code here if you don't want to uh you don't need this code and some of this code uh, you can get uh, change and get rid of everything else you want to keep and obviously this is the way you input what you want in the books so that's really all I'm gonna need I'm not gonna keep that um, so we're gonna move on to the final thing and that is releasing the game now when you release the game um, obviously you will have either uh, Z code or gluts depending on what you chose in the story format now as far as I'm aware, with both of them, um, you can use a program uh, called Wing Gluts Installer. Um, actually, let me actually get that up on the internet for you guys. Uh, Wing Gluts Installer, uh, also capitals. Um, okay, it's not any of these. Um, lol. Um, Windows. Uh, is it Gluts or Gluts? I think it's gluts. Um, I am stupid. Uh, what is it? <laughs> um, it's gluts. That's why. Ah! Now I've gone into mm, gluts. There we go. I don't even know. That's still right. I think that is right. Yeah, that is right. So you download this, it's a very, very small file. Uh, this is for Windows, there is a Mac one. Um, I can't think of what it's called right now. Uh, I'll put it in the description if I remember, uh, as well as the links to this. Basically everything's gonna have links in the description uh, so you can find it out. And uh, this is how you can uh, play your sound. Uh, sound will not play in a browser version, which I'll get into in a second. Um, so this is how you can play the game on your computer, just install it. And then you open it up, find the um, program, and there you go. Um, so I actually have it so I can show you guys right now. I think I do have a... Um, a... Um, file I can open, maybe? Okay, so Windows Glux. Uh, do I have it? Uh, no, I don't. So you would uh, you would just search through, as you can see, uh, select guts game to run, and then you would run the game. I don't actually have mine with me, which is probably a bad idea. I don't know why I didn't have it with me. Um, but anyway, so that's how you can play them. Uh, like I said, the Mac has a different version, which I really cannot remember right now. So we're going to get into the final bits of code that you might want to use to release the game. So obviously, if you're using gluts, um, which you probably should if you're going to be doing sound. Um, there is a different one for Z code as well. Uh, you can use this code here, um, and that is release along with the Quix interpreter. Now, the interpreter means that it can be used in browser. Uh, like I said, sounds will not appear. Uh, pictures still will, but sounds will not appear or play, should I say. Um, so bear that one in mind, uh, but then you can play them on any single browser. Uh, anywhere in the world without need to install anything else and then we're also going to use um, this code here 
Uh, let me just copy and paste it. Uh, release along with the cover up, full moon cover. Now, I actually don't know if you can put random things in here, um, but basically, this cover up means that you can have uh, different covers uh, a thumbnail cover and a book cover, for example. Um, so if I go to my do uh, downloads here, you can see I've already got my cover and my small cover. Uh, that's what you need to call them, cover and small cover. Um, I think the small cover has to be 400 by 400. So as you can see, it's pretty, pretty tiny. Um, and literally all you do is you go into here, you put it into materials. That's all you need to do. Small cover and cover, as long as they're in there, um, the program will realize what you're on about. And then the final bit of code I would probably put is this one here. Uh, this was, uh, especially if you're using sound, you don't really need it anything else but sound. Uh, carry out restarting the game, silence all. When you play the game, you can type in restart in the uh, command prompt. It says, uh, do you want to restart? You put, uh, press yes. For some reason, some sounds may overlap and continue playing even when you've restarted the game. It's something I had as a bug in my game. And I found out that that is the code thanks to someone on the inform, probably someone like Hanano. Um, who always helped me out or Draconis as I was using obviously his uh, music extension. So other than that, that is pretty much all you need to know, uh, all the code aspect. You just hit the release button, wait for it to do everything. At the moment I've got a um, problem with the silence all. Um, for some reason I have no idea why I have an error. Oh okay, that's why I missed a bit of code. Um, that's probably why, uh, so let me just input that piece of code real quick. Um, so yeah, just hit release again, and hopefully it shouldn't have any issues. As you can see, the translation exceeded and the release exceeded. It shows you where the files are, so materials, release, and then the YouTube. Uh, so if we go into materials, we go to release, and here we go. So if I want to get my, uh, wing guts up again, um... Let's get it up. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, so we get this up again. We go to downloads. We scroll down to materials. Release. As you can see, there is the file here. There's the cover. You hit OK. And boom, you're in the game. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy all the tutorials and learn quite a bit about Inform. Like I said, I'm not an expert on it. Uh, there is a million different things you can do with this program. Like any program, the uh, even the things that I've done, there's probably four or five different ways to do things. Um, I used a lot of variables in my work, uh, as you can go and see. So I will put down in the description the links to the source code for both the YouTube uh, source code and also the uh, Beast Within source code. I'll also put the links down for the Wingluts installer and the Mac one that I will go and find. I have not tested it out, so you guys are gonna have to see whether it works on Macs or not. As far as I'm aware, it should work. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you do need any further help, uh, maybe something I didn't go through properly or went too fast or didn't clarify or whatever, um, send me a message, uh, put, or put down a comment, sorry. Uh, I don't read YouTube messages. Put down a comment. Um, if you've got Twitter, put your Twitter down. Um, and I will follow you back on my Twitter. And I will DM you um, any solutions that I can do. Obviously, within reason, um, some of this stuff I won't be able to do. So, anyway, guys, this was Ark. Hope you guys did enjoy. And, yeah, thank you for sticking around and watching this tutorial. Peace out.